Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Jesus is good, Jesus is great, Jesus is gracious. Myself, my name is Pastor Samuel Massey. I belong to Dalai Chhattisgarh. And I would like to uh, share my uh, testimony of knowing Jesus in short. I used to get a big zero in mathematics. I was very weak. I couldn't understand the uh, equations and mathematics, trigonometry, probability equations. So my math teacher used to always um, uh, uh, scold me and uh, pluck my ears that, uh, oh, you are so uh, uh, foolish. And I used to think, I, anyhow, I have to pass up till 10th and then I will take arts or commerce. But as I passed my 10th, my parents forced me, you have to take mathematics because in mathematics, there is much more scope for getting job. So uh, by compulsion, I had to take. And that's why I lost my interest because mathematics was uh, a really bouncer above my head like we uh, play cricket. So when a uh, baller balls a very uh, heighted uh, delivery, it goes above the head uh, of the batsman. It is called bouncer. So mathematics, formulas, trigonometry equations were all going uh, above my uh, understanding. So what to do? I, uh, because my math teacher said, tomorrow I will ask questions and I will call everyone and ask to write the formulas. And it will be a big insult because 50 uh, students are there and 20 girls and 30 boys. So I would be ashamed because I have not understood. And tomorrow, madam will ask to write uh, in the blackboard in front of all. So it will be a great shame for me. So what to do? The thought came, why not I bunk my classes? And what I will do? I will go to some uh, cinema hall, pictures, uh, uh, theater and I will watch uh, the films so that started and uh, in a week uh, I used to bunk two three days I would be sitting in the picture hall cinema hall watching a one film six seven times that brought destruction I suffered in my studies and by 50% I anyhow passed my 11th but 12th class, the course was becoming more and more complicated and more and more comprehensive. So it was very, very difficult for me. So a uh, model exam is there before the board CBSE exam. So in that I failed in mathematics and chemistry. I got 15 out of 100 and 17 out of 100. And my principal called me and my uh, mother and said, you are going to spoil the result of the whole school. I was perplexed. My parents told me it's our prestige. All our colleagues will ask in our work spot, what happened to your son? Did he pass in 12th? What we will say? He has failed. Your whole future will be spoiled. You have to pass anyhow. I was so frustrated, broken hearted. I was a Christian by name, but I never believed in Bible, never uh, walked according to the word of God. So uh, the frustration and uh, the worry and the anxiety gripped my heart. I thought, how can I pass? Because only one month after that model exam, the board final CBSE exam is there. I can't pass because I have not read this thick chemistry, mathematics book. And all these are very hard to understand and to learn. What I will do? The thought began coming. Why not you run away from home? What I will do? Go in some village and become a servant in some hotel, village hotel. Wash the dishes and cook the food and... Uh, just become a servant in some hotel that thought was coming and one day i remember in the month of february i was so broken hearted thinking to run away from my home that time a gospel magazine came showing a picture of jesus blessing a student and under was written the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom proverbs 1 7 
I was attracted because I used to go to church, I used to go to Sunday school, but nobody told that Jesus can help the students. In that, there was a testimony of an evangelist, Brother Dinakaran, that how he was about to commit suicide having failed BSc exam thrice. And his uncle met him and told the crucifixion of Jesus, how Jesus loves everyone, Jesus helps everyone, whoever calls upon his name. And he accepted Christ, Jesus, and then he began studying and he passed his BSc degree and then he did it, IIB, MBA, PhD, such that I was so filled with hope, I immediately knelt down and prayed, Jesus, come in my heart. Wash me with your blood. Make me your son. Make me your child. Forgive my sins. I tried to find pleasure, peace in the cinema theaters, in the films, in the hero heroines, but I didn't get. Please come uh, to my heart. Yes. So I accepted Jesus and then uh, Jesus, I uh, used to pray, Jesus, please sit beside me and teach me because I didn't uh, uh, study the whole year. And Jesus helped me. He's the best teacher. He gave me wisdom, understanding, knowledge and memory power. By Jesus' grace, I could pass the 12th exam with 71%. Praise God. Yes, and that the same principle, I went back to him and gave a New Testament Bible to him. He said, oh, you passed with first division. It's a shocking, surprising. He was astonished, amazed. Oh, how could you pass? I told, that's the secret, the Bible. Jesus is the secret of my success. So my beloved student, young man, young woman, if you are failing in your exam, there is hope for you, Jesus. Ask Jesus. He has promised in James chapter 1, verse 5. Whoever lacks wisdom, let him ask. Jesus will give you wisdom without scolding you. Because in Jesus are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Colossians chapter 2, verse 3. So my beloved brothers and sisters, don't give hope. Don't quit. Don't run away. Don't commit suicide. Because Jesus loves you. Jesus is very, very near to you and eager to help you. To uh, give you memory power, sharp and strong. Whatever you read, it will be just uh, deposited in your mind. You will not forget. Because Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7 says, The memory of the righteous is blessed. You will have a strong, sharp memory power given by the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the Almighty Jesus, the wisdom giver, the memory power giver, is the God of Solomon, is the God of Isaac Newton, who gave Isaac Newton his uh, uh, believing uh, uh, child wisdom to invent so many theories that corrodes of millions, billions of Student, young people read in Isaac Newton, the Newton law of gravitation and uh, the uh, theory of so many, his discovery. God of Isaac Newton is your God. He will help you. Cheer up. Jesus loves you. And his every need, every cry of help, he will hear. God bless you, everyone. Jesus loves you. Amen. I now I have become an engineer. Can you imagine? The one who used to get zero B electronics first division, Jesus granted me 66%. Then MBA in marketing and finance, masters in business administration, and as well as CDAC, and then PhD, doctorate degree. I worked in Gandhinagar, Gujarat, then in Gulf, Kuwait. Now I am in Chhattisgarh. Praise God. The one who used to get zero, Jesus made me an engineer. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen.